Okay, I just made it in the front door and holy cow, I've taken a quick look around and this is at another level, guys. You're, stay till the end. I'm gonna tell you my three favorite things. And if I can find something I would change about the property, I'm gonna put that on here too. But I don't even know if I will. Aloha everyone, I am here outside the house. We're in uh, the upper section at Kohala Ranch. This is a good hour north of the airport out of Kona. This is a guard gated community, 24 hour. It's a great neighborhood. And we're gonna look at a pretty spectacular house. There's going to be a lot to get to on this house. And uh, it's, it's truly a, a spectacular home. I'm gonna walk around here real quick. We have Standing seam metal roof. We got stucco exterior. Look, they did a nice job with this covered walkway between the main house and over here in the garage. Uh, there's a lot to get to on this one. Here we go, three car garage. Look how they did the epoxy down below. Excellent, plenty of storage. It's just absolutely huge. We got 18, that might even be 24 inch. I believe that's 24 inch polished travertine with tight grout lines here on the exterior. We're gonna go check out the exterior of this home first and then we're gonna check out the interior. I'm gonna break this up into sections for you to make it a little bit easier to track. And uh, great landscaping around here. This is in some pretty, pretty good condition. And uh, they're doing such a good job cleaning up that I'm gonna put on some booties on my slippers and take a look inside here at the front door. Nice etched glass on that. And that's not, uh, sometimes you get stuff that looks like etched glass and actually it's just a, a film that they put over there. This is actually etched glass, looks great. All right, let's get inside. All right, so we have a powder room here immediately as you come in the front door. We got that 24 inch polished travertine down below. Looks absolutely outstanding. Soon as you come in the front door, and we're late in the day, so you're just seeing light out there, but it's just ocean. It's gonna look kind of silver, just because, like I said, it's late in the day, and we're looking into the sun. This is towards the sunset. If I stayed here another two hours, um, you would have a spectacular, ridiculous sunset. I'm going to show you that out there in a few minutes. Bear with me, we'll get there. I don't wanna put these booties off and on over and over. Uh, but okay, let's just start with this room. There's a number of features. First of all, we got this nice ceiling treatment up to about, looks like 18 or 20 feet up there, tongue and groove on that going all the way through. And then up here in the upper section, they have glass above this ma uh, huge, massive, huge, call it what you want, header rail all the way across there. Check that out. The engineering on that, that's an upgrade. That's not easy. Um, and then this huge, Double pocket slider. This is the biggest one I've seen. I know I've seen some huge pocket sliders before, but this is two brought in together. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and each of those is five. So that's a 40 foot wide pocket slider. So an incredible header rail to span that 40 feet. And then above it, they have glass. So this roof line, this, this ceiling treatment goes all the way outside and it just disappears. And so even when you're inside, you feel outside. It feels like it just continues. It's incredible. Ma huge window over here on the right, looking up to the north. And then this is being sold, I believe, turnkey furnished. This incredible built-in out of, I believe that's Koa. Uh, huge, big sofa for everyone to enjoy over here. And then looking, check out this. This could be mango, I'm not 100% sure. It is monkey pod. It's monkey pod, okay. I love how they just, they went at live edge all the way around, let the wood do what it does. And check that out for this dining room table, it's spectacular. I noticed there's lots of artwork in here that's really, so that's G. Brad Lewis. He's a famous 
Hawaiian photographer. And then everything stays. She was just telling me, looks absolutely spectacular. So we got this gorgeous, gorgeous granite countertop, huge wide area here for your bar sitting. We got the elevated bar stop, our bar uh, seating area here with one, two, three, four, five chairs around. I feel like it could even fit more if you wanted to and uh, kind of be an entertainment center for the house connected to everything else. And they use that same countertop over here. So it really just stays seamless. And then that granite all across the backsplash. That is the backsplash. Glass up top, 42 inch uppers it looks like. Got our Plumeria chrome pools, love that. And then check out where my cook's at. Check out this Viking. Viking professional, six burners. And then this thing is so flexible. You can just use it as a fry thing. Some people, I guess you can put different attachments on here, but I like the idea that you can just, you know, kind of skillet things right there with our Viking professional hood. And then our prep sink over here, stainless dishwasher, Viking, not Sub-Zero, but a Viking professional refrigerator, spectacular. My goodness. Got a storage closet over here. Wrapping around, we got that same granite, same woodwork, work. Uh, gorgeous artwork in here, all stays. Uh, yeah, this house is at another level, guys. No doubt about it. Look at that. It's glossy. It feels like you're in an aquarium. It looks like it's a metal print or some sort of a print with glass over the top. Look at that popping. Okay, let's continue on. There's going to be a lot to get to. Bedroom. Good job on this one. This is on the Malka mountain side of the house. Large triple pane mirror closet. There I am, guys. How do you like my, uh... there you go. So if the owners see this, they'll know Erica Stewart, the listing agent, Hawaii Life, who's bringing this to us, did a good job of making sure that we all wore our booties. Eric and I have worked together before on a couple of transactions over the years, and she's awesome. Ooh. Okay, I like that. I haven't seen that here yet, and I really like it. So you often see this band usually going horizontal, right? Just an accent band of mosaic tiles. Uh, I love what they did here. They went vertical. Yes, tile all the way up to the top. And then they continued it along the floor. And I'm sorry if I make you dizzy here. And then up the other side. Okay, I'm gonna do something like that in my house. That just, ooh, I slammed that a little bit. That just looks super, super cool as soon as you walk in here. I like that a ton. Check out this custom sink. Good work on that. And then let's spin around here real quick. So we saw we got two twin beds. You got a nightstand. Uh, on the side, one in between and then one on the other side. So plenty of space in here. I think we got a good six and a half, seven feet uh, over here from the end to the wall. So a lot of space in this bedroom. I feel like that's like the kids' room. So what else we got? Bedroom number two. So that other one, we kind of had a seafoam wall with the blue. This one has a I guess it is a pink, sort of purple color. Uh, we got our AC split system in there. Very popular out here. We got an Eastern King bed. This wonderful resort style look on the furniture. And another in suite bath. This one here, I love. Check that out. I like that vessel. It's kind of that, that hammered uh, silver, hammered nickel look whatever that's called, let me know. I know you guys out there, a lot of you know more than me on some of this stuff. And then they have the vertical double wide tile piece there, or a tile mosaic 
stripe there. So both of these showers so far, zero threshold entry. I'm a big fan of that. We got our triple closet on this side, so bedroom number two. Bedroom number three. I love that headboard, check that out. And that's probably monkey pod also. The koi painting, we got our mini split, two windows, and then our big slider looking outside to our ocean view, which I'm gonna take you guys to in a minute. You see our spa in our kitchen. Uh, pretty good setup here. Triple closets, huge closets again. And then this one, kind of more of a copper hammered look on this sink. Gorgeous granite on that. It's pop, it's definitely, and my camera is doing some funny stuff. That's probably a little more true representation. It's looking heavy on green here. It's not like that. It's like more of a gray with a pink. Uh, and then, oh, look what they did on the accent on this one. Going up, 12 inch tile all the way to the ceiling. Zero threshold glass. I like that we're having this instead of like a, a rod with a shower curtain that kind of closes our room off by doing all glass. It keeps this bathroom looking large. Okay, so one, two, three bedrooms on this side of the house. Back over to the main part of the house. I really can't get over this 40 foot header rail. That's some great engineering with the glass on top. It just, it, you, you feel like you're, it feels like it's open. I mean, it really feels like it's open. Pretty incredible. Okay, I'm gonna come a little bit further in here. So now we're back over by the kitchen. We're gonna turn left. It's a pantry. This is bigger than the bedroom in my first apartment. <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, Homo roots, folks. We got a lot of uh, storage space over here. Nice little wine cooler. And then we got more storage up top for appliances and things like that. I like how they have that set up. And then behind here, perfect. We have a large sink, washer dryer, that same uh, countertop. We didn't even go cheap in here in the utility for the cloth, for the cabinets. We got crown molding on top with, check out these turtle pools, pools on these cabinets. So we're using great cabinets. We got a service door outside, breaker panels, Pretty nice setup right here. Oh, I didn't think, I don't think I caught these pendants. I was checking out the kitchen. Nice job. Okay. We'll set up here for some more storage. There's one thing we haven't seen yet. All right. It's the owner's suite. High ceilings, vaulted up. Let's turn here first to our closet. Okay. Got a couple clothes there. I'm gonna blur that out. And then come down. You have storage, my friend. Plenty of storage all the way down. Plenty of space to hang stuff. A number of drawers, like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Over here to place for your shirt. And then right behind me where I blurred out, that's for some longer things like the, the ladies' dresses and stuff. So you got room for that. Got recessed lighting, we got speakers, we got our mini split system, we got a king size, eastern king size bed. It's really nice uh, work they've done this. And you've got about eight feet on either side. So this is a really huge room. We got our slider going out to our pool and our view. I know you guys wanna see it. I swear to you, I'm going to get to it very, very soon. Stick with me. Check out the size of the baseboard. That's like 10 inch baseboard down the bottom. We got carpet in here. It feels pretty good on my feet. Uh, it's a thick carpet, a thick pad, high quality. And look at the, the uh, Honu mosaics they have in here. And so that's totally a zero threshold shower. We're gonna follow the Honu right along. Just gonna keep following right into our shower. Okay, so. Got dial over there. So I think that's for the rain head. And then dial over here for the shower head with another thing for this wand. And a couple towel hooks, smartly placed. 
window outside and then check out these elevated, I mean, these are gorgeous. These are really beautiful, these copper, hammered copper style vessel sinks built in. Now I know a lot of times people are like, oh, these vessel sinks, I don't know. This is big, wide, deep, high, it's, it's got a lot. Sometimes these vessel sinks, when you look at them, they look great, but in functionality, sometimes they're a little small. And the guys tell me, you know, I go up there and I, I, I shave and I'm, I'm washing my face off, there's water all over the place. This is big. You should be able to be fine there, unless you're just totally, totally making a mess. We got some uh, kind of, uh, I think those are copper pulls with a black on them. And then a nice spot here. Oh, is this, um... oh, it does have, it's a mirror for the ladies. Do your makeup and look how really smart did these LEDs on the side. So great light for that. And then it's hidden down when you don't need it. Cool. I think we got storage on the sides here. Privacy door over here for the bathroom. We had this door here for the bathroom as well. And then outside. Okay, you ready to see outside? I know you're ready to see outside. I'm gonna bring it to you. I'm gonna take these booties off and I'm gonna come to you right outside. Okay, now I'm outside. Check out our roof. We got that standing seam metal roof. We got three panels, giant solar hot water heater collector. We still had the garage, but we have this uh, guest suite over here that we still have to get to. Got some wonderful landscaping. But I'm out in this corner starting to show you outside to give you an idea of what you're looking at here. Uh, when you're up in this section of Kohala Ranch, the views are incredible. Now we got some clouds. Wow, it looks like some rain clouds. Big old thunderhead over there over Mauna Loa. We got Hualalai over here. On the other side of the mountain right around there is where Kona is. And down in here is where the resorts of the Kohala Coast are. And that is the beautiful Pacific Ocean out there. And over to our pool. Okay. This is... This is awesome. Um, we see a lot of you know, homes really set up to capture the views and take it in and everything, but this one has so much space. Like, I'm gonna come over here and kind of give you the experience that you'll have in this home. All right, check out the woodwork on this thing. I can't remember what they call these bow tie things. I think they like, call them biscuits or something because the wood naturally is, is splitting and that keeps it together. Really nice work on that. But this is your, okay, I got my back right to the center of the walkout. This is your view out here. You can see the sun's going down and uh, we got some reflection. But it is just ocean, my friend. Like you see houses out there, but I mean, they're a ways off. Let's, uh, that's wide angle. Let's go into normal zoom. Bring it to you again, do a soft pan around. Pretty good. So this lanai here, boy, I think we're about 14 feet wide. And well, we got about, I think we're about 40 feet long, right? Cause we had these five panels or four panels of five feet on either side. So good amount of space here. And they got these solar shades uh, to bring down when it gets late in the day and the sun is coming in here. One, two steps down. And let's go back to wide angle here at the pool. Take it in. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half of these tiles. I think these are, I think they're 12, I don't know, they're like 18 inch tiles. And then colored plaster bottom helps keep it nice and warm. We got our pool cleaner in there. And well, that's a big lap pool. This is a lap where you could swim. I'm actually, well, I was a bit of a swimmer late in life, not in school or anything. And uh, this would be a great pool for laps. Uh, really like it. We have our elevated separate hot tub, eight person hot tub over here. That's a great spot to take it in. Look at that. I'll have to check on the elevation. I'll put that down in the description below or maybe I'll 
put it up on the screen right now. Uh, you're up here, uh, certainly high. And the views of the uh, of the coastline. Let's go double zoom. Are are really nice. In the morning, it's going to be better because the sun is going to be coming up from Mauna Kea. Oh, oh look, we got Mauna Kea coming in here just to the left, right there. Of those trees, and we got a little snow on top. But the sun is going to come up over on that side and that lights up the ocean now when you have the sun behind you the ocean is nice and blue when they have the sun over there the ocean reflects the sun and that's why it's all white there morning views are outstanding and then evening views are the sunset we got a grill propane tank over here i mean this house has a lot of what you're looking for i mean this is truly some spectacular luxury living out here okay we're gonna take a second and make our way over to that guest suite i'm gonna pick it up right there okay here we are at the guest suite taking a step in so this is interesting a house like this does <laughs> okay the art comes with it and This is good art. This isn't just some stuff that you get at uh, the store and put in. This is incredible art that they have in here. This is really spectacular, beautiful Hawaiian art uh, or Hawaiian style beach style art. Wow, really great. Um, so, sorry, I lost my train of thought there because I'm just blown away by all that this house has. Absolutely spectacular. But a house like this, takes a lot of work sometimes and you might just say you know what I'll just get a caretaker and let them stay over here in the caretaker's cottage and this is not bad for a caretaker's cottage or you can use it as a guest suite when you have friends or extended family coming over or you know the in-law that you like having over, but you don't want too close. Anybody looking at their spouse right now? I think uh, some folks have that. I'm lucky I don't have that. My in-laws are awesome. But I've heard that sometimes it can be uh, a challenge. Check it out here. More artwork, a beautiful Eastern King bed, tons of space. Um, you know, I see people sometimes on the guest cottage or caretaker's cottage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, maybe... Not put the same level of detail into it. They've done that here. They've made it. They've not put done that here. They've taken the same level of detail. We've got great furniture in here as well. So you really can use it either way. Whatever works for you. Guest cottage, caretaker's cottage. I mean, we got this beautiful hand painted sink in here, and then another large shower. They've just done an incredible job in this house. Look at that fella. Okay, it's time guys. It's time for my three favorite things about this house. Um, and the one thing that I would change, so I can tell you, the one thing I would change, and this is immediate to me, is that I don't own it. I would change the ownership of this house if I could. I mean, this is just, this is just it. All right, my three favorite things though, I have a sense of these things that I'm not gonna be able to change the thing that I wanna change. So my three favorite things, number one are the views. This is probably my favorite view on the island. I've seen the whole island, I've been around it been out here since late 2003. Um, I've seen parts of this island that most people will never see. I've been very fortunate to be blessed by some folks who uh, have a lot of knowledge of this island that goes back and has been passed on to them through hundreds of years and they've shared some secret spots with me. This view on this part of the Kohala Mountain, looking back at Hualalai, Mauna Loa, which is in the clouds right now, and Mauna Kea, and seeing the shoreline 
and then seeing the ocean. And it's covered up right now in some clouds, but you can see it poking out just a little bit to the left of those clouds, Maui. This is my favorite view on the island, this part of the island right here. Absolutely spectacular. So number one is the view and it ain't close. My second favorite thing is the massive engineering, the incredible engineering work that went into the header rail to do the largest slider I've seen in Hawaii, 40 feet, double sliders. So that's my second favorite thing. My third favorite thing is probably going to be the kitchen, which you saw just a moment ago. And I'll take a quick look at it right there. Okay, and my third favorite thing on this house is the kitchen set up over here with this incredible tile backsplash and what it's like from this spot right here. Now, if you're me, you know, this stuff is great, but it's more fun to share it with people. And I just, to me, being right here, taking it all in. So you got this incredible kitchen. You got Viking professional around you. you got this beautiful granite throughout, glass front, Viking over here. You got the big slider with the incredible header rail. You got the open glass on top. You got the gorgeous ceiling treatment. You got your TV, your dining, your pool, your view, your outdoor lanai area, your friends. Uh, to me, this is just the spot where you get to kind of, like if you're, if you're buying this house, you know, you, you've achieved a few things in life and getting to bless your friends and share uh, some of that with them has got to be pretty awesome. So I think to me, that's the number three thing is the kitchen spot right here and just enjoying the whole thing that you have. All right. I'm Mike Jutar. I hope you like this. Click like and subscribe. I'll see you again real soon.